get it going. How are we looking? Good? Cool. Alright. So today, on this week's edition of South of PCs plays the Epic Games free game of the week. We have The World Next Door. Um, all I know is the description of this game is that this chick, June, is trapped in an alternate reality that's filled with monsters and she needs to escape and get back to her home planet. I know nothing else of this game. Like always, I love to jump right into them um, with a fresh set of eyes having no idea what I'm getting myself into. So. Without further ado, let's start that new game. Two worlds lay divided by a single dimension, Earth and memories. Long ago, beyond any written language or memory, portals were created to join these two worlds, one governed by humans and technology, the other by magic and mythical beings, mystic beings. Once generations, the portals open, connecting the twin worlds, allowing both humans and Imrins to cross over. While the portals' openings were once marked by war and destruction, the people of today believe in unified coexistence. As the portals open, both worlds hold the festival, a celebration crossing time and space, and a handful of lucky travelers are selected by lottery and for a single day are allowed to through the portals. June, a human girl, has been dreaming of leaving Earth her entire life, and against all odds she won the lottery. A once in a lifetime opportunity, June finally gets to visit Emrys. With a whole day to explore with her Emrin friends, June is about to experience what life is like in the world next door. I like the music. It's cute. Alright. Lucinda! Emrys is everything I thought it would be. I can't believe how lucky I am. And I'm talking to myself again. Yo, girl! Thanks for waiting. Where are you? Or where are you at? Outside the market. Where's my surprise? I want to see it. Oh, you're really close. I'm ready now. Meet me in the quad. Okay. See you in a minute. I still can't believe it. I actually won the travel lottery and get to spend an entire day on Emrys. Lisa said she had a surprise for me. I wonder what it could be. Meet Lisa in the quad. Okay, how do I... Okay, just like that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So the mouse is like... Not really used much. I can take this. Sky tram. Can I go up the other set of stairs? Archeo Community Board. Emory Portal Festival this week, celebrating the joining of the two worlds. Looks like there's one more thing missing. Primison uh, Mataka, age 16. Um, Paxton Femme, age 17. Call 555-657829 with any information. Uh-oh, people are going missing. That's never a good sign. What up, girl? Dinner. There you are. Sorry to leave you hanging. Did you miss me? Horribly. I almost cried. <laughs> Stop. You did not. This will be worth the wait, I promise. Is it as cool as this mask you made for me? Hmm. Sort of. Before we get going, I wanted to say, 
Coming around with you today has been great. I can't believe you're actually here, you know? Anyways, now that you've spent an entire day on another planet, what do you think of Emrys? It's amazing. It's okay, I guess. Hmm. Mm. It's amazing. Brad. <laughs> I'm so glad you're as chill in real life as you are online. It's so cool to finally hang out in person. How long have we been texting anyway? I don't know, like six months? It feels like forever. Okay, so the surprise. It's a little unconventional. Unconventional how? Something humans don't ever get to see. Is it illegal? Oh, don't worry, you're in good hands. You ready? You tell me about my mask. You tell me more about your school, or let's go. What's, what's up with the mask? I thought you knew everything about Emrys. Masks have been used on Emrys for centuries. They are worn to celebrate the meeting of the two worlds. Some ancient people believe that the mask could guard your soul. Kind of extra good luck when the portal is open. Mega yawn, am I right? But I had a lot of fun making it for you. So, what do you think of it? It's kind of tight. You know, it's kind of tight. I don't think. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Let's just play the. Let's play that role. I love it. Thank you. You nerd. I knew you'd like it. You could hang it on your wall when you get back to Earth. I can't believe how cool some of the masks were at the festival. I felt right at home. I'm glad you're having a good time. You ready? Can you tell me more about your school? Pretty boring, but okay. Emrys is magical, duh. But it still takes training to learn how to use magic. The school teaches, teaches us how to use it responsibly or whatever. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm gonna head to the station. The tram is ancient, but it's still the best way to get everywhere. Oh, and Rainy's gonna meet us. See you there. Alright. Can I just, like, go wherever? Lisa's dorm is upstairs. It must be cool living on campus. Okay. No, I can't just walk in. Anything else I can check out while I'm here? Another building. Some more stairs this way. Some sort of training yard. Looks like it's closed right now. Okay. Guess down to the tram I go. What up? Hey, June. You're Lisa's friend? We met right after I came through the portal. Yeah, um... Sorry, I forgot your name. It's good to see you again. That's okay, I had fun today. It's rainy, right? You remembered. Well, I mean, like, she just said it. I can't believe I got to hang out with a human all day. I mean, you're, you're so cool. And so weird. I mean, not for a human. But I've read about your kind all my life. And so, uh, Rainy, maybe slow your roll in the huge I'm a huge nerd about humans thing. Oops, right. Sorry. It's okay. I had fun today. Yeah, don't be creepy. Or, what's your favorite thing about humans? Winky face. I love the way they smell. <laughs> uh, rainy. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez, am I just gonna flirt? Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's a bit creepy, though. For real. Alright, enough small talk. We're gonna take a little trip. Lisa, do you think this is a good idea? Rainy, I love you, but you're being a buzzkill. You're down, right, June? Let's go. I wanna look around more. I did look around. Let's go. Let's go already. Yes. Horus and Lyris are gonna hang too, so you can meet them. Uh, Horus is coming. Relax, it'll be fun. And seriously, June, don't worry. I promise I'll have you back before the portal closes. Trust me. Hop on the tram and let's get going. Get on the tram. Ready to go? 
doesn't send it. Hey, what's up? I've been here for hours. Right. June, try not to be seduced by his infectious personality. You must be the human Lisa's been babbling about. My name is June, you must be Horace. Here I am, human and everything. Or, you got me, I'm human, you got a problem with that? That's it. I don't know, let's see. Just like, play it off, be cheeky, or match his attitude. I don't know. Bonnie. My name is June, you must be Horace. That's my name, don't wear it out. Oh, and you brought the kid, too? I'm not a kid. Lay off, Horace. Whatever. Hey, June, you want a beer? Sure, toss me one. Nope. Maybe later. I don't know, is their beer any different than our beer? Like, is there, like, spooky alien beer, maybe? Let's just get wrecked. Sure, toss me one. Is it okay for humans to drink this? I'm just as curious as you. See, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Okay, we have limited time, so welcome to the shrine. Oh, uh, the shrine? I know where we are. Cool, but why are we here? Or this place is gross, can we go soon? Uh Oh yeah, the shrine. I know where we are. Let's see, that just sounds like yeah, okay. Totally. And you are correct. This is where we go to eat humans. That's the idea of a joke. We hang out here to practice spells and stuff, but... What? But we're not allowed to. Ugh, it's off limits. There's no snitching, Earthling. I don't want to get in trouble. This sounds stupid. Don't make me do stupid things with you. Or why is it off limits? I'm, I'm more of a curious type, I feel. Why is it off limits? Shrines are restricted government property. It would be like you sneaking into a power plant on Earth. Oh, yikes. Nice Earthling knowledge, Horus. Yes, I am very smart. What are you waiting for? Let's go in. Do I get to do magic? Which way? This way? This way? What up, sad boy? Creepy sad boy? I'm not sure. It kind of gives me the jeebies. A little bit of the Dahmer. I'm sure we'll get you back in time. I'm not worried. Oh, and, uh... Ah, I can't. Is it... Clarice? Larice? I'm gonna go with Larice. We'll be here any minute. You'll love her. I come here to blow off steam. It's pretty cool, I guess. Whatever. Oh, it's empty. It's an old healing well. We don't really know how it works. But don't fall in. Isn't this place, like, the best? I'm assuming that's Larise? Clary? Ceres? It looks like a C, but it could be an L. I'm not sure. Any thoughts? Thanks for waiting. Class went so long. Oh, see? If that's class, that's gotta be a C. So, Cerise? Class went long as usual. Nerd. This is Cerise. She's the smartest person we know. And the coolest. Nerd. Ignore him. You must be June. I'm Cerise. Nice to meet you, Cerise. You're very lucky, you know. It's been centuries since a human set foot in the shrine. Mm. Okay, sure, but that's not the only reason we brought you here. Here's the big surprise. <laughs> Humans are quite adept with magic, so we want to teach you to throw a big goddamn fireball! Uh, as in magic? <gasps> Nani? I knew you were gonna flip. 
Okay, who wants to show June the ropes? I'm out. Way burnt after class. Uh, you should do it, Lisa. Honestly, you should let me handle this. Ha! Last time you were down here, you lit your shoes on fire. I was trying something new. You always play it too safe. Yeah, because it's fire. Maybe we should let June choose. Lisa or Horace? I choose Horace. Let's do this. Head to the next room and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go yeet some fireballs. Can I like pound a beer real quick? No? Okay. Figured I'd try. Magic isn't rockin' science, so even a human should be able to pull it off. Take a deep breath and imagine you're trying to hold in a fart. And then put your arms up and let it out in a big dumb pile of rocks over there. Press C in a group of three matching runes to cast a spell. Yeah, that makes sense. Not bad for a first timer. Press X to grab a rune, and then press X to place it on the tile. Below. Move the runes to make a match of three, and then cast a spell. All right, so this is how the this is how it's actually gonna work. Huh? Got it. Okay. There are different spells you can cast. Think you can handle it? When cast, spells will automatically travel to the nearest target or target in the area around them. Cast Strike, Ember, and Shock spell. Shock. And grab this, drag it over here, and bam. bam. Yeah, that rock's going down! If you get in a tight spot, try dashing away. You can dash, move quickly by pressing space. Press space, or press space to dash three times. You can review your skills in the FAQ section in the menu. June, you're a natural. Obviously, she has a great teacher. Your technique could do some work, but the ability is definitely there. Good job, June. Who needs a hype man, you know? Nailed it. She shoots better fireballs than you, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so cool, that was easy, that was boring. Yeah, that was easy. Alright, move over and let me show you how a real pro can do it. A pro at what? Sucking? June, watch him wipe the floor with this loser. Lisa, what are you doing? Don't look at me. I wasn't doing anything. This can't be good. Oh. Oof. Yeah, the spooky hands lady. Uh, what the hell is that thing? Finally, some real action. Run. We can take this thing. We need to get out of here. That thing just did like 600 damage compared to my like 21, so. What she said. Go, go, go. Get out of here, June. Whoa. Whoa. We're cut off. June, listen to me. You have to run. There's nowhere to go. I knew we should have taught her a healing spell. Knuckle up, kid. Alright, alright, alright. I got this. No, alright. Alright, alright, alright. And then... Right here, and then... Fireball! Yeah, what up? Ain't got nothing on me, creepy eye lady. June, are you okay? I'm okay, not exactly, or I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. What on earth was that thing? That was a grievance. They used to be Emrins, but now they're changed. Hey, way to kick some ass. Wait, what time is it? Shit, Rainy's right, it's almost time for the portal to close. Oh, what do I do? I 
can't get to you. There should be another exit towards the back of the shrine. We'll meet you there, June. Just go back from where we came from. And don't try to fight anything else. And try not to die. Oh, what up? Use the healing well. Heal up. Heck yeah. I could use another one of those beers right now. <laughs> it's a big old pile of ash. Hey look, the scary lizard monster. Oh no, I have to use magic. Oh, is this thing not even gonna use magic on me? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Zap! Down. Got him. Alright, alright. It's different. I kinda like the mechanics. I'm not I'm not hating on them. Hmm, this door isn't budging. Oh yeah, I got two at once. Alright. down. Now I just gotta get this grievance. No. How do I hit X and then move it over, right? Wait, what the... I was on top. Don't fight anything else, they say. Well, what if I want to? Ooh, a sword. June got a weird sword. <laughs> Definitely gonna hang on to this. Okay, now what do I do? Maybe the door, right? She had a good teacher. This is crazy. I'm glad you're okay, June, but seriously, we're running out of time. Just let me grab the beer. Forget the beer, Horace. We need to go. What now? Get out. Oh, no. Where is it coming from? Does it matter? Let's go. Well, we should at least check this out. Not the time, Clarice. Ceres. Whatever it is, it's getting closer. I'm freaking out. Everyone run!
I like it. I think it's interesting. I think the controls are weird. It's a bit buggy on the tiles, though. The portal. It's closed. It's our set. How did this happen? <sighs> we must have been down there longer than we thought. Shit. She's gonna die, Lisa. What? Explain now. June, humans can't survive on Emrys for more than a few days. I thought you knew that. Of course I know that, but I thought... I don't know, I never thought about it. I'm so, so sorry. What am I gonna do? Is there anything we can do? I'm totally beat. I can't even think straight. We have to do something. Like what? The portal's closed, genius. So we're just gonna give up? I'm just facing the facts. We can't force the portal open. Fine. Just give up. Like you always do. What? What was that, little man? Knock it off, you two. We have to be on the same team if we're gonna figure this out. Right, June? Yeah, okay. I guess. You just sound so despondent, girl. God. We're gonna get you back, June. Right, everyone? I'll do some research. There has to be something I can find. I'm here for you, June. Alright. Count me in too, I guess. Wait, really? I'm not a total asshole. Debatable, but the sentiment's nice. Thanks, everyone. We should all get some sleep. June, you can crash in my room. Let's all meet up after class tomorrow. And June, let's head to the dorms. I'll get you set up for the night. Oh, F, girl. You stuck. Bye, homies. Dean Bros, Dean Bros, Fangs, Mysterious Threads. Mmm, coffee. <sighs> Ready to go to sleep? Ready. Wait. Drink a beer, girl. Come on. Hey, girl. Wanted to let you sleep in. I still got a class. This sucks. Keeping up appearances and all that. You should lay low until we figure out what to do. Oh, and keep the mask on. Meet me downstairs in the quad this afternoon after class, and we'll make plans. You should have everyone's numbers now. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll see you soon. Seems like X and C are really the only buttons that I need. Stuck on Emrys. The portal closed and there's no way to get home. Everyone's saying we'll figure something out, but humans can't survive on Emrys long. June's mask, took a tram, and weird sword. Let's see, that's like, that's literally it. Oh! Oh, you can cancel the tether with Z. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. If I was using a controller, I could do that. But more of a keyboard and mouse kind of guy. New contacts have been added to June's phone. You can text three of your friends before heading out. Hmm, I wonder what everyone else is up to. Well, I just texted her, so let's just go down the list. Horace, hey, it's June. Wait, hold on, how are you texting me? With my fingers? Ugh, that's not what I meant. I mean, your phone actually works here? Apparently, I mean, you're getting these messages. Bummer, now I can't poltergeist you. Rude. It's called ghosting. Just messing with you. I think we're meeting with Lisa soon, right? That's the plan. Alright, see you there. How do I... Alright, looks like that. Cerise? You there? Just checking in. Nothing. That's ghosting right there, Horace. Rainy, what's up? I'm with Therese in the library. She's just passed out. <laughs> Is she okay? Yeah, she stayed up all night doing research. I think she found something. Really? 
She was mumbling something about the shrines in the portal, and then about wanting to drink a whole pot of that stuff you call coffee. There was a frick- that stuff you call co- there was a coffee shop. There was a coffee shop. Did Lisa tell you to meet up with us? Yeah, leaving soon. Alright, cool, I gotta go. Thanks, Rainy. Alright, I better get going. Whatever, whatever. Hey, how are you holding up? I feel better. Okay, I guess we're accepting my fate. Let's go with that one. June, it's all gonna be okay. After I track down Cerise, we're gonna come up with a plan. Don't worry, I've got it all under control. You're being really weird about this. How? You're like, too cheery. You're not worried at all? Look, I know last night was all doom and gloom, but we have to stay positive, okay? I'm gonna find Cerise. Cerise? Cerise? Cerise. I'm gonna go with Cerise. Why don't you bum around Ariko for a bit? Alright, any hot tips? You should check out the market. Uh, probably pretty empty here, around here now. That the festival is over. Everyone in Ariko is pretty friendly. You'll be fine. I'll text you when I find Cerise. Thanks, Lisa. Oh, no worries. We got this. Heck yeah. We got this. What up? New <laughs> hey. Do you know what this is? Oh, it's a baseball. You really know your stuff. I'm Orden. Wish we played baseball on Emrys. At least I can catch every game on Earth and the internet. What's your favorite team? The Crocs. But they've been on a losing streak ever since I lost my lucky hat. Oh, uh, I could keep an eye out for it, I guess. Really? That's pretty cool of you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Candles, stuffed boxes, flower. Oh, what a sweet and sad memorial. I wonder who it's for. Um, probably those two people that we saw on the, the bulletin board earlier. Girl, come on. Don't you, re don't you remember what we read? Some sort of training yard. Maybe I should come back later. Oh, I keep trying to. Oh, it's on this bulletin board. Looks like some announcements. Attention seniors. Quarterly college exams will be held first Saturday of the month. Reminder, dorm inspections are every Saturday at 9 a.m. No exceptions. I wonder if I'll make it into Saturday. I mean, let's, like, hope so, right? Hey, where's the sleeping girl? Hey, do you think anyone, like, followed you here? No, should I be worried? No, I'm worried. Well, someone's sure to start looking for you soon. Isn't your family freaking out because you're not home yet? Um, no, probably not. Either way, if someone figures out you're a human, and there's a human still here, they'll come looking. Yeah, okay, but when's the last time a human was stuck on Emrys? It's happened before. People with terminal illnesses, or for whatever reason, they stay here after the portals close so they can die, use magic, go skydiving. <laughs> use magic? Sure, let's go with that. Anyway, Cerise and Lisa will come up with a plan, I'm sure of it. What if it's not that we, like, die, so to say, but it's more like we turn into one of those spooky monster -y deals? And, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably rather be a magic-casting monster than, than dead, <laughs> personally. Haven't seen you around here before. My name's Cornell. June. Where'd you come from, June? I transferred? Where did you come from? Or would you believe I'm actually from Earth? <gasps> Let's go with that one. Where did you come from? Is my response to that? Funny. Are all conversations this stimulating on Earth? Uh, <laughs> relax, I'm just messing with you. I already knew you're human. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone, I'm just interested in getting to know you better. After all, it's not every day you meet an earthling stuck on Emrys. Come find me tomorrow, we'll talk more. Spooky. 
Totally not ominous or anything. <laughs> what a weirdo. Why is everyone weird? First one guy's smelling me and now another guy's reading my mind. Not about it. No, can I get a cup of coffee? Give me coffee. No, alright. What up? What's up? Definitely not a human. Not much. What's up with you, Horus? I've been watching a lot of kung fu movies, you know, for research. Seriously. Wait, you don't like kung fu? Very human looking people. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> hey. I love your style. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm Lux, and this is my brother Vesper. Are you like a transfer student or something? Is that your real face? Uh, no? Yes. Yes? Wait, really? It's a mask, Vesper. Duh. Sorry, he gets a little spacey sometimes. Hey, I'm not the one failing all my classes this semester. Anyway, you're Lisa's friend, right? Yeah. I knew it. Lux knows everything that's happening around here. She's like the queen of gossip. I'm basically everyone's favorite person. Ha, huh, everyone except for Lisa. Shut up, Vesper. Okay, bye. Kind of like mean girls, honestly. Hey, I found Cerise. Come find me in the training yard ASAP. Wow, that was fast. Told you, Cerise was the best. Be there soon. Nope, not that one. This one. Sit up all night. I'm playing the market somewhere. And Cornell just disappeared in front of me. So he's gonna find me later. I wonder where that dude's hat is. Can I go to the psychic? No. Okay, so everyone knows this incredible woman, Lily Chidu, right? She, like, basically invented the internet connection between Earth and Everest. Well, next week, I have the total privilege of interviewing her. I cannot wait. She's a total pioneer of science and technology, and she has a big announcement. I wonder what it is. Appreciate everybody for watching. As always, Aki signing out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You know you want to. Hey. See you all in the next video. Okay, bye! Subscribe. <laughs> Shamelessly plug myself, right? I'm allowed to do that. <sighs> nope, I can't just walk through it again. Okay. That's fine. I don't hate the music, it kind of reminds me of something like you would hear in the game Demo. <sighs> what up, homies? Alright, we're all here. Human Savior Club, assemble. Honestly, Horace, I didn't even think you'd show up. Aw, he really does care. I taught June everything she knows. Might as well be there to see my work in action. Okay, Cerise stayed up all night and has great news. Technically not all night. I slept for like 20 minutes on a book. I tried to get you to go home. I know, Rainy. You're an angel. Oh, thanks. Thanks for doing that. Spit it out already. Oh, come on, you gotta be nice. You're welcome. Okay, check out this old map. Found it on my way back from the archives. You can see Ariko here, and then here, where the portal is located. And when I looked closer, I noticed something about the nearby shrines. Me neither. Do you see anything, June? To me? What would I know? I, I haven't seen anything. Not enough coffee. Deva 
<laughs> hey, you're telling me. Oh wait, I see it now. The shrines surround the town perfectly. Exactly. All the shrines are equidistant from each other. But what does that mean? Maybe the shrines have something to do with the portals? But wouldn't everyone know that if it was true? Maybe not. Maybe that's why they're restricted. And that's what I'm thinking. We need to go to more shrines. Go back. Down there? I don't think we should go to the shrine we went to last night. Whatever was making those sounds, I don't want to mess with that. Well, there are three other shrines, and one is nearby. We did it tonight, I know the area. It sounds like a plan. Everyone grab whatever we need, and then we'll meet June at the tram. Got it? Yep. Okay. I'm there. Let's do this! Get on the tram and head to the next shrine. Can I check this place out a little bit? No. Alright. Nothing really interesting, though. Okay, nothing to interact with. Let's just keep moving. Ready. Let's send it. On the train, I'm on a train, waiting here on a freaking train. Oh wow, mm. this one's different than the other shrines, it's almost too quiet. Each shrine has a unique purpose, and this used to be a place of learning. For like, research or what? Kind of. The elders use this place to study space and time and planes of existence. That sort of thing. Mm. Ugh go in already. Cerise, what do you know about grievances? Nothing new, just what we already know. That they're terrifying? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. We'll be fine, Rainy. But what if that loud thing from last night is here too? Relax, kid, I'll protect you. Whatever it is that we heard, we need to go into this shrine tonight. Some of us should keep watch outside in case anything goes wrong. I would prefer to stay here, unless you really need me. I'm exhausted, but I'm also really curious of the shrine. June, it's your call. Cerise, we could use your expertise. Rainy, we totally need you on this one, or why don't you both stay outside? I th yeah, I think they should both stay outside. This Oof. Rainy and I will hold down the fort. Yeah, you two stay here and keep watch. We'll handle the intense and probably brutal fighting. Unless Horace accidentally sets himself on fire again. One time, Lisa! It was one time! <laughs> one time. Okay, June. From here on out, we'll fight together. I'm ready for another round of Horace's amazing tutorials. Friends in your party can be assigned to cast unique and powerful spells in battle, assigning Horace. Uh, using the contacts menu. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Signed abilities. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Essence runes are now available in battle. Essence runes are generated by casting any spell or more. Imagine the essence rune to be assigned shape to call your friends for help. Let's do this. Alright, so drag this and place it. Yeah. That's a big fireball. Pretty impressive, I know. Careful, Horus. <laughs> you can assign friends who are currently in your party at any time in the contacts menu. Don't forget, you're gonna need my help in here. Well, can't I? I can do her too, right? Let's try that.
do wish that this guy would take out of here, though. Uh, let's see. Alright, so if I get hit while I'm trying to move the thing, it will dissipate. Or I'll lose it. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Nope. How far can I move them? Like, pretty distant, right? There's one down. I could definitely use the heal, though. I think most of these were written in super old language. Ah, here, this one looks Imran. Read Sen Senopia's journal? Yeah, of course, why not? Lore. How many weeks has it been now? I'm losing track. I'm close to unlocking the secrets of the shrine, I can feel it. Most of my colleagues have already fled back to the surface, the cowards. We all understood the allure of the shrine and we committed to our research. Just a little longer, I must prove my theories are more than naive speculations. People are down here for weeks, so uh, anyone mind if I blow these books up too? Yes, of course, bruh. Ancient research. Oh, creepy bird dude. Alright, let's get it. I do not have a lot of help though. Can't I use that sword I found? It would be like pretty sweet. Nope, I just replaced that with that. Alright. Gotcha. Heal in there. Oh, that's a big one, ready. Boom. Oh. Hey, come here. No, 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 turn around. You scared or something? I am. That was a good one. There's two ways to go. There's somewhere, which way can I go to find the heal thing? Uh, this is some sort of puzzle. What's the altar over there say? This looks boring. Let's see, it says... Casting a spell adjacent to another prepared spell will empower that spell. Empowered spells are twice as effective as normal. Destroy the target to complete the puzzle. Got it. That one. That one. 
I don't think I got the heel. No. June found an elegant hourglass. Oh, I wonder what this is used for. Let's check our inventory, shall we? An old hourglass with iridescent blue sand. When I flip it over, the sand gives off a surreal glow. Okay. Can I go this way? This way? No. Okay. Yes, please. There's a note here. Contact the Chancellor immediately. Uh, Senopi has gone mad. He won't listen to reason. After failing to secure any evidence to confirm his research, he locked himself away in the Entheum. The poor fool. He's destroyed everything. All our work burned it to ash. Agenda? What do you think happened, everyone? <clears throat> huh, guess I'm not the only one who thinks burning stuff is fun. There's something shiny here. Ooh, a locket. <laughs> hey, hurry it up already. Oh, right, coming. Mysterious locket. A delicate and beautifully cast golden locket. The shape of a heart that is an in, 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 intricate, intricate symbol on the front. Bunch of quests. The curious lock. It doesn't look old. Maybe Lisa knows something about it? I should show it to her when I get a chance. I mean, I'm with her right now. I'll just show it to her. Okay. Alright, let's see. Here, that one there. No, no, move. Move that one there. Right into my trap. Wait. Hey, no, that's not okay. It, like, you have to be like directly on them. I think that's something that I just don't like about this. Stop, don't. Alright, let's see if I can line up another one of these. I could use the heal. I'm gonna try to set up a chorus. At least you don't have to aim the spells, I think that would make this game just like a little too annoying. To even want to be like super playable. Not that it couldn't be done, it would just it would be like infuriating. Because I'm already having a hard time lining these up just so. Like I can't even like it should regardless of where you are. Damn. That was sick. 
Oh, man, I could use that heal now. What is this? Oh, June got a Celestial Shrine Key. Oh, this looks pretty useful. Over there, no, through the door. Sort of looks like the symbol I used my sword in the last shrine, but something's different. Whip out the sword, girl. Yeah, something's different. You won't whip out your friggin' sword. Not like I have anywhere else to go here. Oh, up. Can I go up? Okay, alright. Oh, man. I don't have the health enough for that. Alright. Nope. Nope. See what I'm talking about? Like, it won't... I, yes, I'm aware. I need to line up some heels. That's what I need to do. Nope. Doesn't matter. I'm dead now. Alright. I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Just about an hour now. Um, so yeah, that was um, The World Next Door uh, with June Horace and um, Lisa there is the main characters um definitely an interesting game um not one that i've I, I like the play style but i think that the button mapping is really weird having like x and c be like your main buttons there i think that that's really weird um i think that the the tile the the alignment of the tiling is weird um and that you can't just like be anywhere on the tile you have to like very specifically be in the middle of it in order to move one of the spell blocks from one to the other. I think that's kind of infuriating and it limited my ability to move around a lot. Um, I don't think that I had used the dodge well enough. I think I could have done that a little bit better. Um, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that was uh, Zether PC's Plays, the Epic Games Free Game of the Week. Uh, again, that was The World Next Door. You can get your own copy of it until the 26th, so that's just two days away from now uh, over on the Epic Games Store. There's also another game on there as well that you can nab for yourself right now. Um, let's see if I can find that while I'm at it. Just blow myself up real big. Hey! Um, so the other game that you can nab for yourself right now for free is Elite Dangerous, um, which is like a space MMO by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, definitely give that one a try. It looks really, really pretty, um, in the play style. Um, maybe we'll try that one, uh, in a couple days. I feel like doing another stream. Um, if you like this video, give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments, what you want to see next time, or what you're more interested in. Um, but otherwise, I'm Waylon, this is at the PCs, and we'll see you next time.